Come on, Dad, hurry up. There'll be shot by the time we're ready. I was putting the blinders on the horse. Blinders? Why? <laughs> we're not racing over, are we? <laughs> Laugh all you like, mate. I don't want Hercules to know we're coming to a car showroom. Blimey, he doesn't know what's going on. He never has done. He ain't got a clue where he's going. <laughs> if he had a clue, he wouldn't go home every evening, would he? That stable is the cleanest in the West End of London. Even them Royal Horse Guards don't muck out as regularly as I do. Oh, leave it out and get inside. And I remember what I said. Don't go getting your grubby mitts all over the cars. Cars, Dad, eh? Just look. Yeah, that's all you can afford to do. Just look. I mean, what do you want to buy a car for? There's no more room in one of them than there is in the back of the cart. It's not to replace the cart with, is it, eh? It's to give me something to use to drive into town with. Something with style. Something with class. Something to pull the birds with. Something to pull the birds Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Although I do suppose that my image will forego a certain transformation once I'm seen in something with four wheels. Well, the car's got four wheels. Yeah, it's got four wheels in front of it all, hasn't it, eh? Well, what do you want to nip into town for? It's me what does the shopping and the laundry and, and, and the Skinner's arm is only up the road. I hope you don't think I'm doing all this purely for my benefit. I am, as ever, only thinking of you. Liar! The last time you thought about me was on my 66th birthday. Oh, come on, what was wrong with that? Very ornate, that was, Dad. Cost me a hundred nicker. A bleeding greystone? How insensitive can you get? It was engraved as well. Albert Kitchener Steptoe, born 1951, died 20 blank blank. If you don't stop behaving yourself, I'll get my chisel out and I'll finish it off later tonight. A bleeding greystone. Oh, leave off, Dad. Hey, it was on special offer. What? Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Can I help you, no. gentlemen? <laughs> ah, yes, sir. My father and I were hoping to purchase one of your lovely cars. Oh, splendid. Any particular one in mind? What's the cheapest? I beg your pardon. Oh, come on, mate. What you got out back? Want some silly sod ding while driving into the showroom? I'm sorry, sir, but everything in here was rolled out direct from the factory. Of course it is. Uh, I do apologise. He's just a bit excited, that's all. It's his first car, you see. I understand, sir. Well, shall we get down to it? Um, are you looking for a particular model? Hey? British? Foreign? Or haven't you made up your mind yet, sir? Oh, no, not that fussy, really. Three-door, five-door? Oh, the old car, really. I mean, I've got the money. Here, Harold. It's lovely and comfy in here. <laughs> Get out of there, you great big book. That's not where you're supposed to sit. Is uh, Sir looking for a big boot? Oh, give him one in a minute. Oh, I do apologise. <laughs> Here, this door's broken. I think you'll find it's locked, sir. Well, give me the key, then. Well, you could use the key, but... Most people prefer to use the remote control device. Remote control? Are you trying to fob me off? You just press the button, like so. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, Harold. We could get one for the outside bog. Father! Well, think about it. It'll stop all them lager out stopping by when they come out of the pub. Some of them don't even close the bleeding door. The dirty devils. Oh, shut up. Uh, uh, may I take a seat inside? By all means. Oh, yes. yes. You'll notice that the interior is leather. Seats are adjusted thus. Oh. Uh, windscreen wipers on the left, indicators on the right. Indicators? You mean I won't have to stick my hand when I go around the corner? We positively discourage it, sir. <laughs> hey, Dad! Dad! Where's he going? I remember in the 60s, when the cars hit the market, big time. <laughs> what a bleeding mess. Fruit and veg everywhere. <laughs> There's a sign up for it now, of course. I think he wants you. I know what he bleeding wants. <laughs> you found me all, then. Mark, who's talking? Well, you kind of keep your mind on the reason we're here. I was 
only inspecting her big end. You dirty old man. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Even when we board the horse, you were trying to chat at the jockey teacher. I was only making polite conversation. It's an art form that is on the decline these days, and I will not be the death of it. Oh no, but you'll be the death of me, won't you, eh? You've embarrassed her. No, I haven't. It's only a matter of time, wasn't it, eh? Come on, get in the back of that cart. I'll see you in a minute. I'm so sorry to have troubled you. No trouble at all, sir. But perhaps you'd like to come back at a more convenient time. Oh, don't worry, I will. As soon as I've found that gravestone. I'm terribly sorry about him. He don't get out much. I do hope he didn't bother you. There's a coffee shop down the road. Why don't you give him a fiver and come back? I'm sure we've got exactly what you're looking for. Oh, gold! 